Oh, there's a toilet sitting outside of it. Oh, it's standing wide open. Okay, well, well that, that's pretty big, too. Look at that. There's a toilet over there. I'm going to zoom on this so we can see the toilet because it's important that y'all see the toilet. I'm talking about, see? There's a toilet. And then the doors are wide yeah, open. Tell me there's a fixation of the toilet. Evidently. <laughs> and there was a sign up there, but y'all, I can't read what it said. And then there's a sign post over here. So, anyway, there we go. That's the first that we found on Highway 29 here, wherever we are. Uh, this has no name, so. Okay, we're just on Highway 29. Now down here, there's a there's a marker. There's, there's it's a historic. There's a historic marker. There's two trailers for pumpwood trucks, and there was a store of some sort here. There's a place for a sign. Signs gone. And then there was this little this little store. Oh, this is still Three Notch Road. Y'all, this is the same sign that we read earlier. It's just in a different place because that's Three Notch Road over there. Apparently going that way. Well, that way. I think it was that way. Did you get enough of that? Yeah. There is a Alabama tag in the window over there. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Hang on. Hang on. I might have to take a kitty cat home, y'all. Say, hey, kitty, 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 kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. There's a toilet, y'all. <laughs> there's a toilet right by the door. Uh, this ain't just get her away from this. This ain't just me, y'all. There's toilets everywhere. There's toilets everywhere. If you need a toilet, come this way. This was complete game process. Oh, the last thing it was is is where they um, uh, cut meat. <laughs> what do they do when you when you when you get a deer? But there's a, there's a sign behind deer that. Processor. Stop. I see. I see a. B, I see an old, I can't read it, y'all. There's a sign. It's I game think. processing, y'all. There's a sign right there, too. That made him part of it. But it was, it's, yeah, it's deer processing. Because well, they would hang them up right, right there. Right, well, okay. All right. And those make great tables. Yeah. That's okay. a big one. It's got wire on it's it. It's got wire on it. That's a that one's got wire on it. That one back here's got orange wire on it. Big wire. You mean that sign right there? That, that still says deer processing. The cleaning shed's what it was called last. Alright. And we just passed a sign. We are now in Inverness, Alabama. Not sure what we're going to see here. I'm not. Tim might know everything, but I don't know anything. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I know a, there's a pretty church. There's a pretty up here. church right up here on the left because I see it. Right across it should be a, a building with the with the words. Here, here it is. Oh, okay. Cool. So this is like the old the old store. There's a the side of it. Power's pulled. But yeah, I see Inverness right on the front. We'll just ride by it slowly and you'll see it too. There you go. Inverness. I guess that was the general store. There's a beautiful house up here on the right. With rocking chairs and swings on it, which I love. And then over here is the Inverness Baptist Church. And it's it's beautiful too. This is this all of Inverness? Pretty much. Oh. I believe. There wasn't much to it. This was it's just a rabbit trail. This is a rabbit trail. So we rabbit trail right into Inverness, Alabama. Y'all when Tim when Tim, yeah, there's a house up in there. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around. There's another one right beside of it. Yeah, we're gonna need to turn around. So there is a place up near Birmingham called Inverness. I think That's I'm right. right. And when I tried to look up. Just keep going straight, don't stop. When I tried to look up Inverness. He took you to Birmingham, took Alabama. You to Birmingham, Alabama. You never could yep. find. This is 10,090. <laughs> and it's a beautiful old house. There's another church. It's another church. There's another church over here. There's more to Inverness than. And there's a sign. This is completely abandoned. There's a sign in there. That says welcome to Hawkins. I think that's Hawkinsville. We're not near Hawkinsville, are we? 
Okay, that's, I don't know what kind of church this is, y'all. The sign is over there, and it's growed up all around it, and I can't read it. I see welcome to, looks like Hawkins something, and I see pastor, but I can't see the name of the pastor, and I have no idea, but that was a pretty little church sitting down here. All right, let's go a little further. Hey, It'll be a convenient place to turn around. We are explorers here. Because we're going to uh, see a cemetery. Oh, are we going to see a cemetery? This goes here. Oh, this is probably the cemetery. Yeah, this will be the cemetery. It's a newer cemetery. It, it, it is a newer cemetery. Does it go all the way around? I think it goes all the way around, honey. Let's do it this way then. This is Inverness Cemetery. There's a flag out there, but all the headstones look new. And by new, you know, that can make this one right here. So these are from 1980. To me, anything in the 80s is new. I'm sorry. Now these over here, that's 1935, 1937 on Tim's side. So, okay. They just have new headstones. And, you know, I don't know. Here we go. Third one. That's a nice, neat little cemetery. It is. I love the way it just circles around. It's easy yeah. to get to. And they, they still got this easy to get to. They still got as much property down here for burial as they've got people buried. Yeah. So you know they're planning for the future. And this is continued considered Union Springs, at least by address. This is Union Springs, Alabama. Maybe there are just grouped together. Yeah. Now this is High Ridge Baptist Church. And this little community of Inverness at one time had three churches in it. That's, that's two. Yeah, stuff. there's still two that look active. There's only one that... Now there we go, Roll Tide. They had a sign in the yard that said Roll Tide, you know. It means there's good people living there, y'all. If y'all can see this one, let's see if I can zoom on this one. Hang on. So I can prove there's a house in there. Y'all see that house in there? There is a house in there. This one gives me a little bit of the creeps. I'm just going to be honest with you. You ever just feel like. Yeah, it just gives me the creeps. I think the one next to us lived too. I saw a lady sitting there. Well, oh, well, sure it is. We're back down here at the church, at the other church. And there's, you know, this is a pretty little church. And this is weird. It's like we got a lane, but it's like for parking, isn't it? I don't know what it is. Well, it's for the church parking. Yeah, but it goes way on back there. Look. Established in 1900. Look up there. Ain't that pretty? It's a beautiful building. Okay, Inverness Baptist Church. All right, there we go. Yes, Inverness. So I guess that's that's that's. Well, there might be more down through there, but we're going this way. Now this is a road. It has no lines. It has no line down. Well, yeah, there is. Look there at that. I see them now. I see it faintly down the middle. But look at this road. Y'all, this road. <laughs> it's cool. And I hope we don't find another car on this road. This is another one of those Alabama back roads that Alabama does not know exist. <laughs> when you reckon was the last time this was paved? Oh, I see a sign for Highway 29. We made it. <laughs> We're fixing to get back on a good road. We're going to fix to get on a road to Alabama. We'll never forget. That was a pretty short road right there. It was. What nobody living on it that I saw. Nothing. Well, right there at the beginning of it was. Yeah, but you could consider them living on the road on the other side. Okay. And then back to Highway 29.
we headed toward Atlanta and ultimately New York. Not today. Well, I don't know why not. Highway 29. I'd love to take that trip. It'd both. take us all yeah, the way. back there. I see it. Yeah, everybody else takes Dixie Highway and <laughs> Route 66. We're going to follow Highway 29. So, there. We're in Scotland. Are we in Scotland, Alabama? I believe so. This is Scotland, Alabama. Okay, that one looks like, I don't know if it was, I don't know what happened to it. A tree might have fell on it because the roof looks like it's caved in. It doesn't look like it was burned. So I'm going to guess that a storm was the culprit here. Scotland, Scotland. <laughs> and just just dozens of abandoned places. I know, I know I didn't even see this one until right now and I don't know if it's gonna, I guess it'll show up a little bit. Look at them bird houses on the, hanging off that tree right there. Huh, let me see, I'll try to zoom a little bit. See the roof. You see the roof, but that's about it. Okay. Now this one, this one down here, you can actually see pretty good. And I don't think this was a house. I don't know. Yes, I do. This was a house. But on the back side, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was a pretty little house. Y'all look at that. That little bitty wraparound porch. Y'all, that porch ain't but like four feet deep and it wraps all the way around that little house. Oh man, that's pretty. There's another building over here. I think it's a barn. If the barn's bigger than the house. <laughs> yeah. The barn's way bigger than the house. Way bigger than the house. It is. All right. Wow. So we're taking a little walk on the Scottish side in Scotland. Scotland, Alabama. Scotland, Alabama. Yeah, I know. That, that accent's probably nowhere near right. It don't matter. I just use my own accent. Now, what we're going to find between here and where we're headed, I don't know. But, y'all, we're headed to food because it's lunchtime. 20 minutes after 11. We have done a lot this Monday morning. We really have. We have. And we basically have driven a circle. If you look at it on the maps overall, it's basically a circle. We haven't completed the circle, but yeah. Well, we're almost we're, we're three quarters of the way around it, though, aren't we? What well, do you say there? Pretty good ways, yeah. Man, he's fine. <laughs> Y'all, get some commentary on the traffic. We're gonna, we're gonna head toward Union Springs, and we might ride around Union Springs just a little bit. Them clouds. All right, y'all. We are in the magnificent, most beautiful, y'all, this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been as far as houses, and this is Union Springs, Alabama. We have been here before. And we have been, and we have filmed, but y'all, look at that house over there. Yeah. Look at this house right over here. I'm just, they're just, it's, it's like mansions almost. And the churches are big and beautiful, and the houses are big and beautiful. I think the school's right down there on the left. If we turn left, it'd be on the right, but I think we're turning right, aren't we? Yeah, because isn't that the station we that stopped is, at? That is the station we stopped at, Arco, and we want to go right down past it between it and this church over here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because there's an old cabin down there. That is the Red Door Theater. It's the Episcopal Church and it's the Red Door Theater. And there is, this is the Old City Cemetery. Can we get out right here and walk around? I don't around? know, but I don't know where else to let go. Me go. Just let me go read the sign, if nothing else, okay? Okay. There is an old log cabin up there, y'all. I don't know what we can do. I don't know if this is just to pull out the park or what it is. I'm an old log cabin up there. It's fixing to start raining on me after all this time. Oh, this is the log cabin museum on this side. 
first homes were built here in 1830s. This cabin was built by Reuben Rice Kirkland about 1850. He and his wife had 10 children living in this little cabin. There was an additional bedroom and a chimney on the right side and the back porch was closed in for cooking and eating. Okay, in 1981, the Bullock County Historical Society moved the cabin into Union Springs from its original site at Steele's Crossroads in southern Bullock County. And, and that's it right up there. And I'll, I'll try to walk up there too. And I guess I can. There's a little bit of a sidewalk over here, a tiny little sidewalk. This side over here, though, is talking about the old city cemetery. This is a Confederate cemetery. It's right up there on top of that hill behind that Episcopal church. Makaja Northley Ely donated land in 1849 for the Baptist Church and an adjoining public cemetery. The oldest cemetery in Union Springs, it served the city for 35 years. The Confederate monument at the center of the cemetery was unveiled at the intersection of Prairie and Hardaway Streets on March 29, 1895 by the Ladies Memorial Association. In 1973, it was moved to its present location. This is locally known as the Confederate Cemetery. It has some 22 Confederate soldiers. And then there were, below the Confederate soldiers' grave sites is a marker which reads Union prisoners of war, 61 to 65, victims of plague. Oh, wow. Okay. But let's see if we can just climb to the top of the hill and look at that little cabin real quick. <coughs> We don't have to get real close. I don't think it's open. I'm going up quite a hill here to get to it. There is no driveway to it. And if I turn over there, you can sort of see the Confederate statue in the middle of the cemetery. There we go. And I'm gonna be very careful going down this hill, y'all. Because this hill is very steep oh, pretty red buds crepe myrtles august 5th this is old school man there's a lot of four-way stops over here there he is it's bullet county career technical center I bet there's a Bullock County High School now, though, because Alabama and Georgia both have been doing a lot of county-wide schools as of recent. There's a greenhouse back here. There's plants back here. There's some peppers in there that somebody needs to come pick. What tower? There's a water tower over there. No. Not that's, that's curious. Well, part of it's painted red. Part of it's painted white. Part of the roof's painted red. That's curious, though, that blue one up there on the hill is beautiful. That's a beautiful house. You take me in there, I might just look through the fence. This is very obviously the city pool. to get out, huh? Well, you know, it is trying to rain. That's true. I guess this was their city pool, and I wonder if it's been open for years. It looks, it ain't open, it ain't open this summer, that's for dang sure. Oh, I had to go through a lake to get out. <laughs> I go through a pool to get out away from the swimming pool. Yeah. I wonder how much it cost. Do y'all remember? I remember. Look at there. There's a lifeguard chair right out here, turned upside down. I remember going to the pool when I was a kid. It was 50 cents a person. I want to play a playground down here. Yeah. That's a little park. park down here. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nice size. It's got the soccer. I got some of that exercise equipment stuff out here. Got all the soccer goals up. And volleyball or badminton nets and then now this playground equipment down here is I, is it old or is it new? It must have done maybe not real new but 
must have done this not too long ago. Mm. Y'all, this is a road that's about as good as the roads was driving on down there in your back road country. 